Hey Vincent, I need to ask you something. Do you still live with mom and dad? I've been wondering about that for a while. Don't you think it's time to move out and be independent? Oh, hey there, Brian. What's up? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? Is there something wrong? Yeah, I do still live with them in their house. But it's not what you think. I have a good reason for staying with them. Oh my god. You really do still live with them. Unbelievable. How can you be so comfortable with that? How much longer are you planning to live there? You're almost 30 years old for crying out loud. You're not a teenager anymore. We're supposed to be adults. I can't believe you're still so dependent on mom and dad. Don't you have any pride or ambition? Dependent on mom and dad? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. What makes you think that? I think I'm very independent already. I don't rely on them for anything. I pay my own bills and take care of myself. Why don't you understand what I'm telling you? And why don't you answer my question? You're avoiding the issue. I'm asking you how much longer you're planning to live with our parents. You can't stay there forever. You really need to move out and start your own life. You need to find a job and a place to live. I think that there have been lots of misunderstandings. You don't know the whole story. I work remotely from home, so I'm not unemployed at all. I have a stable and well-paying job as a web developer. I work for a reputable company and I have many clients and projects. I guess I don't leave the house that often, but that's because I'm working most of the time. What the hell are you saying? I know that's a lie for sure. I'm not going to believe you. You're just making excuses. You're not the kind of person that's able to work from home. You're lazy and irresponsible. You probably just play video games and watch Netflix all day. You don't do anything useful or meaningful with your life. What does that even mean? That's very rude and insulting of you to say that. I really don't understand why you're even texting me right now. Hurry up and just get to the point. What do you want from me? Why are you even complaining about me still living with mom and dad? It's none of your business where I live or how I live. I thought that you were planning to move back in with us. Aren't you in the same boat as me? Yeah, I'm going to be moving back in from next month. But that's only temporary and for a good reason. It's not like I want to live with them again. I really don't like the fact that I've got to start living with you again. It's going to be awkward and annoying. Then you're going to be in the same situation as me. You're going to be living with mom and dad too. I don't get why you're mocking me for living with mom and dad. It's not a bad thing to live with them. There's also a good reason why I'm still here. It's not because I'm lazy or dependent or anything like that. Stop putting me in the same category as you. Our situations are completely different. You can't compare them at all. My new workplace is kind of close to our parents' house, and that's why I'm planning to move in temporarily. It's more convenient and cheaper for me to commute from there than from my old apartment. I don't plan on living there forever like you. It's just a short-term arrangement until I find a better place to live. I can't believe that I'm going to have to live with a 30-year-old loser like you. You're calling me a loser now? We're only two years apart, and age is just a number anyway. It doesn't define who you are or what you can do. And I have a career and a future too. Thank you very much. I work as a web developer and I earn a decent salary. Why can't you just accept the fact that I work remotely from home? It's a normal thing to do these days. I am not dependent on mom and dad at all. I pay them rent and help them with the chores. I hope that you can be more understanding of my situation. We're going to be living together again after all. Why should I try to get along with you? You're pretty much a parasite to this family. All you are is a nuisance. There's literally no reason for me to get along with you. You don't need to worry about any of that. I'm not a nuisance at all. If you have no intention of getting along with me, then please, just leave me alone at least. We have our own rooms so we can mind our own business. Actually, you're a nuisance just by living in the same house. You being in the house has a negative effect on everyone else. 
I'm going to be going out the house every day to work while you're being lazy at home. That's not fair at all. I'm sorry, but I'm starting to lose my patience now. I told you that I'm working from home. I'm not being lazy at all. You really should stop caring so much about what I do. Just focus on your own life and career. Ugh, I don't need someone like you to be giving me advice. Vincent, are you at home right now? Yeah, I'm home right now. Do you need me for something? You never text me unless you want something from me. What is it this time? You want to go on a road trip today? Just the two of us? I think it will be fun and relaxing. We could drive to the beach or the mountains or wherever you want. What's the matter with you all of a sudden? I thought you hated me. You kept on ignoring all my messages till today. There's no reason really. I just felt like asking you. We're siblings after all. I thought that we should spend some time together once in a while. Maybe we can get along better and understand each other more. Don't you think so? I'm really surprised to be receiving a message like this from you. It's really rare for you to ask me to come out with you. You usually avoid me like the plague. Are you sure you're not up to something? Are you trying to trick me or prank me or something? No way. <laughs> so let's go on a short road trip then. Yeah, I guess so. I kind of felt like driving actually. I'll be done with work in around an hour. I'll be free after that. Did you really just say work? There's no need for you to pretend like that. <laughs> I know that you're still unemployed. So you still think that? I'm really not the pathetic kind of person that you think I am. I have a decent job and earn a decent salary. I'm also financially supporting our parents right now. I think they're very happy that I still live with them. What are you talking about? That's all lies. If you were really working a decent job, you wouldn't still be living with mom and dad. You don't even leave the house at all. There's actually a reason why I'm living like how I am. I can't really tell you the reason but I hope that you can understand and respect my situation. Yeah, whatever. You can stop with the fake stories now. Anyway, I'll come and pick you up in an hour then. Make sure that you're ready by that time. Okay, fine. I guess I'll start getting ready. Where are you even planning on going? Do you remember that mountain we used to go hiking at? Yeah, I think so. I thought that mountain trail got closed off though. I think the main trail has been closed off, but there are some other trails that we can go to. I heard it's a little dangerous, but I think we should give it a go. Isn't that a place a little far away though? It's near where we used to live when we were back in high school. Don't worry, it's not that far away. I don't think it's going to take two hours to drive there. Why do you even want to go hiking there all of a sudden? Did you suddenly want to feel like a child again or something? Yeah, something like that. I wanted to go somewhere nostalgic all of a sudden. It might be a little cold, so make sure that you dress up nice and warm. Are we planning to be walking around for a while? This really is so sudden. I'm still kind of surprised. I just thought it would be nice to have some time to ourselves. It's going to be a nice opportunity for us to start getting along well again. I'm still a little confused but it's starting to start kind of fun. I sort of wanted some time to be able to talk to you after all. This is going to be a good opportunity for that. I'll be waiting for you to arrive then. I'll get there in a little bit. Wait, what? Why were you able to call me? I have your phone. There's no way you should be able to do this. I have a second phone that I carry around with me. It's a backup phone in case of emergencies. You never know when you might need one. Anyway, that doesn't matter right now. Hurry up and pick up the phone. I need to talk to you urgently. There's no point in you calling me. I don't have any intention of picking it up. I don't want to hear your voice or your lies. You've done enough damage already. Are you serious? This better be a prank or something. You can't be cruel and just leave me stranded in the middle of nowhere. I can't believe you have a second phone. You're supposed to be poor and unemployed. How can you afford to have two phones? That doesn't matter right now. We have some more important things to solve. Hurry up and just answer the phone. Stop texting me and talk to me like a normal person. This is ridiculous. 
I'm sorry, but I can't answer your call. I'm driving right now. I'm on my way back to our parents' house. Then why are you sending me messages like this? You're driving and texting at the same time? That's very dangerous and irresponsible of you. You could cause an accident or hurt someone. Stop contacting me, you piece of trash. Where the hell are you? I can't believe that you ditched me in the middle of this mountain. I'm sorry, but I just got to the bottom of the mountain with my car. I'm just about to get back onto the main road now. You have no place in this house anymore. Go and find a job and a place to live by yourself. You really need to start being more independent. I can't believe you're doing this to me. What the hell is wrong with you? I guess this was your intention from the very start. I should have known. Your plan was to abandon me in this mountain all by myself. You're such a psycho. Yeah, maybe that was my plan from the very start. Unfortunately, you're never going to know the answer. What the hell is wrong with you? It was stupid of me to trust you in the first place. I should have known that something was wrong. There's no need for you to come back home anymore. You understand how I feel about you now, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. You're a huge nuisance to our entire family. I totally understand how you feel about me now. I'm going to come home to collect my belongings then. Don't bother going into my room, by the way. I'll move out as soon as I collect everything that's mine. That's fine, right? Actually, I'll dispose of all your belongings for you. There's no need to do that. One of my friends is heading over to collect all of my belongings for me. There are some important documents that I need for work in my room. I can't have you disposing of important documents like that. I can't believe you're still pretending that you have a job. How much longer are you planning to use that lie? I guess I don't really care either way as long as you move out. Make sure that you never come back home. You need to realize that you're a nuisance to me and our parents. Hurry up and become a little independent. You're such a useless piece of trash. You don't need to worry about me at all. I'm pretty sure that I'm never going to be seeing you ever again. I actually cared for you because you're my little brother. None of that matters anymore. Goodbye forever then. I'm sorry, but who is this? Is this a wrong number or a prank call? Stop messing around like that. It's kind of an emergency. You know who I am. Don't pretend that you don't. I'm your brother. What do you want from me? I thought that we weren't going to see or talk to each other ever again. You made that very clear when you ditched me in the middle of a mountain. That doesn't matter anymore. I wasn't serious about that at all. I was just angry and frustrated. I didn't mean any of those things. I'm in some serious trouble right now and I need your help. Would you please just answer the phone? So, you're asking for help after you abandon me in the middle of a mountain? After you leave me stranded and alone with no food, water, or shelter? After you drive away with my phone and my car keys? What the hell do you want from me? Who cares about that? You were fine, right? You managed to get out of the mountain alive. You found your way back to civilization and got a ride home. You're safe and sound now. It's not like anything bad happened to you. That doesn't make it fine at all. It was dark and I had no signal on my phone at times. I had to walk for miles in the cold and the rain. It could have ended really badly. So what? Do you want me to apologize or something? Fine, I'll say it. I'm sorry for what I did to you. There, are you happy now? I don't need your apology. I know that you don't really mean it. You're just saying it because you want something from me. You're just using me like you always do. Would you just answer the phone already? I don't have all day, you know. I am in a lot of trouble thanks to you. It's your fault and you need to take responsibility. What are you talking about? I never did anything to get you into trouble. Is it really true that you were the one making the loan payments for this house? You're asking me that now? I had no idea about it. I thought that you were unemployed all this time. 
How did you earn the money to pay the loan for this house? It's not cheap at all. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not unemployed? Do you have the memory of a goldfish? You really need to start listening a little more. How dare you say that to me? I'm much smarter than a goldfish. Actually, none of that matters right now. Mom and Dad are telling me to pay the loan fees and the utility bills for the house. They're saying that I am responsible because I was the one that kicked you out. It doesn't make any sense. It makes total sense. I was paying for everything related to that house right up until you kicked me out. Did you not hear that I had started up my own company? Wait, what? You have your own company? Yeah, I am the CEO of an online shopping company. I've always told you that I work remotely from home. It's been several years since I started my company and it's been really successful so far. I probably earn around 10 times more than what an average person earns. Are you being serious about that? 10 times more? Of course, I'm serious. There's no point in me lying about something like this. I can't believe that you're a CEO of a company. Why didn't you tell me about this up till now? I also don't understand why you're still living with our parents. It doesn't make any sense. Surely you can live wherever you want then. If you earn that much money, you should be living in your own house already. I had no other choice because mom and dad are in a huge amount of debt. Wait, what did you just say? I'm only living with them so that I can help them pay back all the money that they owe. I've been paying for all their living expenses as well. Dad is currently using his entire salary to pay off the debt. That's the reason I was living with them up until recently. Mom and Dad are in debt? How? I thought that Dad had a pretty good salary. There's just no way they could be in debt. You really do live in your own world, don't you? Our parents made a pretty big mistake and that's why they're in debt right now. I also think that you've made a pretty big mistake too. There's a pretty big difference in the amount of money that me and you earn. I think that it's going to be financially difficult for you to live in that house right now. I didn't know anything about this at all. It's not fair. Why didn't you warn me about this before I decided to move in? I was waiting for an opportunity to talk to you about it. But you never seemed to answer any of my text messages, so I didn't have the chance. I thought I could talk to you about it when you asked me to go on that short road trip. I did not expect to get abandoned like that at all. You tried to completely erase my existence. I actually had no bad intentions at all. It was all just a misunderstanding. You stole my phone from me and left me alone in the mountain. I'm pretty sure that's got to be a crime. I only brought my second phone with me just in case. I wasn't too sure about what you were thinking. What do you think would have happened if I didn't have my second phone with me? You didn't think about that, did you? It could have been a very serious problem if I didn't have my second phone. I wouldn't have been able to call anyone for help if that happened. You would have been completely fine. That's why I told you to wear some warm clothes. I was actually being really nice to you. You should thank me for my kindness. Your kindness? What you did to me was not kind at all. I don't have any intention of forgiving you for what you did to me. In fact, I don't really see you as my brother anymore. You're a complete stranger to me. Don't be like that. We're siblings. I also have no idea how I'm going to pay for any of this. I thought that I wouldn't have to pay for any of my living expenses if I lived with mom and dad. I have no idea what you should do. You need to solve this problem yourself. You're an adult, right? You were the one that got yourself into this situation in the first place. You need to take responsibility for your actions. The amount of money I'm being told to pay every month is absolutely ridiculous. I don't have that kind of money or income right now. I thought I'd finally be able to save some money if I moved in with mom and dad. I also have to pay off my credit card as well. I'm in a fairly large amount of debt too. You're in debt as well? What's wrong with my family? I'm surprised you were looking down on me and making fun of me so much. 
It doesn't seem like you're doing that well in life at all. I'm sorry for making fun of you. I thought that you were unemployed. I wouldn't have insulted you if I had known that you started up your own company. I really need your help right now. We're siblings, right? We're family, right? I told you that I no longer see you as part of my family. In fact, I'm going to be cutting ties with you completely. I wouldn't want to be abandoned in the middle of the mountains again. I promise I'll never do something like that to you ever again. I thought you were unemployed and needed someone to force you to become more independent. I was trying to do you a favor. You can make up all the excuses that you want to. I'm still not planning on forgiving you at all. I'm also going to be leaving mom and dad in your hands. I think I've given them enough support already. I was paying for all their living expenses and loans for three entire years. I think it's your turn now. I told you that I don't have enough money or income to do that. Please would you just come back home? I'm sorry for everything that I did to you. Let's live together as a family again. I'm begging you. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of forgiving you. I'm going to block you now because your text messages are starting to annoy me. Wait, what? Are you seriously going to abandon me like this? We're family! Stop saying that. I know that you never saw me as a family member at all. All you did was make fun of me this entire time. Have fun living with mom and dad again. I'm sure that the three of you are going to have a fantastic time. Brian had always looked down on me, thinking that I was unemployed and lazy. He had no idea that I had actually started my own successful company and was working from home. I was earning a fortune while Brian was struggling with his low-paying job. Brian didn't know that I had been paying all the living expenses and loans for our parents, who were in debt and had health problems. Brian decided to kick me out of my parents' house so that he could move back in without consulting anyone. He thought he was doing them a favor by getting rid of the useless brother. But he soon realized his mistake when he found out the truth. He tried to apologize to me and begged me to move back in with them, but it was too late. I had already blocked his number and cut off all contact with him. Brian ended up having to borrow a large amount of money along with our mom and dad, who were furious and disappointed with him. He really should have thought about it more carefully before kicking me out of the house. He should have respected and appreciated his brother more.